Hello, beautiful. Thank you for joining me in my channel. This is my dance computer training channel. I'm always so glad you could join us in this tutorial as we learn so much in this tutorial. In the course of this tutorial, our attention will be focusing on the watermark. Watermark, watermark, watermark. Well, 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 well. Many of us don't use watermark, but some of us do use watermark. So we are going to use this um, means medium to teach us about watermark. Watermark can be found on World 2016 under design. This is Microsoft Word 2016 under design. Please just click on design. And you click on design, come to the right side of your screen where you have watermark. Now let's click on it and see how it looks like so that it will be much easier for us to explain. So you can see at the background of the page that there are write up in it. I hope we can see it from here. All right. Now, watermark can be very useful. Take, for example, you are a secretary, or maybe what you are typing is actually a confidential document, and you want that to show. So you just come to this one, for example, that have been pre uh, designed as um, confidential. Okay, I have to have. Can you see? It's at the background of that my page. So whatever I type, it does not have any interaction with what we have here. Yeah, so that is how watermark works. We can see at this point that it's even the write up is across the watermark. The watermark is at the background. So you can make a choice of like this first one is the, um, that I have used is called confidential. That means perhaps the document you are typing is actually a confidential document that you don't want anybody to see, or maybe only the director or whoever is supposed to see is only to be seen only the one to see so you could use this as your watermark or at the background to show that this is a confidential document now let's go back to that same place if you have other format yes of course we do have we have um, um confidential um, another confidential depending on the style and um, do, uh, do not copy that means you don't want someone to copy your work and uh, do not copy another format of it. A draft, of course, that is what you are doing. What you are doing is just a draft or a sample, and so many other formats that you can see them here one after the other, or maybe urgent. And say urgent, urgent that means you want someone you are sending this document to, to treat it urgently because maybe you're running, you may be running out of time. So, with this at the background as a watermark, and assist this person to remember, oh, this document was very urgent, so should not even be delaying with it. I want to do it at once, so that's what I'm at for you. It can be very useful, okay? But that's not enough because you can actually choose your own type of watermark. Go back to that same place. If you notice here, you can actually remove the watermark from your page, okay? You can do that now. If you want to go to the uh, online, the, the Microsoft Office or Microsoft Online Office. The website in order to get more watermark you can come here but our attention we're focusing on this custom watermark custom watermark custom watermark just click on it this dialog box will happen now in this environment you can type and choose what your watermark should be like one secondly you can choose the font to be used font simply means um this is a font the characters that you can see right up there font how your font should look like okay two three you can also change the color the color of the font also you can as well choose the size how wide or how tiny or how large the watermark should be like so let's take one at a time all right apart from even that one you can as well use a picture as your watermark it's quite possible now let's quickly touch on this if I want to change the font, I come to lang. Um, okay, um, I want to change the font. I come to fonts here and click on fonts. Choose my font. Okay. If I want to choose what I type there, let's just um, um, let's just put my Dan com. Okay, my Dan com. That is what I'm expected to be at my background this time. All right, I could choose my language choice language, but I'm think I'm quite okay with the United Kingdom. Okay, now I can come here and make a choice of color. Okay, 
So you can go on and make a choice color, any color of your choice, just choose one. Okay, after choosing your color, you may decide at this point again to whether should it be in a diagonal or horizontal. So you choose whether to be in a diagonal or horizontal. After choosing this, then it is simple. You are making progress. The text, sorry, text has changed again, so let's take it back to my done, my done, sorry, my done, come, all right, all right, now let's okay this and see what happened next, do you notice, it is here, because of the pattern to which we choose, now let's go to make another yeah, a little more adjustment that will make many of us able to who can allow many of us to see. So I'm going back to that same custom. Now instead of choosing the horizontal, I will choose this diagonal, diagonal. Then I can choose a font rather than the one that we choose earlier on. We can change the font because we can do much when it comes to this, and then we okay it again. Now you can see this time um, that it's a bit more legible and it's in a diagonal shape. So you can actually have your own, customize your own watermark. It's very simple to do that. Alright, now finally let's go to, let's use picture. Let's use picture. Um, no, let me choose something different. Let's use picture at that. Now go back to that same design, alter the watermark come down to that same custom watermark and move to picture watermark when you come to picture watermark come in here under select picture select picture when you click now you have right to choose either to search it online this last book and allow you to search online okay all right but this one can allow you to browse it through and get it through your system okay i have some pictures here which we can use okay i found of this young man so let me use him as my background so after doing that i can just apply and okay okay what i have just done now i have make it my watermark some of us may be able to see it's very light the purpose of making it very light i can make it darker uh, brighter than this it's for it not to interfere with what i have on my screen so the picture now is actually my background watermark okay so you can use this you can use different methods and decide how wide should be and so on and so forth how little it should be and so on so we can use all this when it comes to watermark i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do enjoy the tutorial please just smash that subscribe button and like the video i wish to hear from you as you leave your comment share this video so others you can enjoy it i hope to see you in the next tutorial thanks so much have a good day for now